encouraged and generally achieved. The guidelines for the unwary appear to be savor the quality, then try the width. In this Drinker's Aladdin's cave, there are 62 kills containing a total of 10,000 pints covering 33 brands of beer from 15 breweries. When thirst and curiosity combine, the experimental drinker can work his way through favorite tipples from other regions like John Barleycorn, Old Roger, Moonraker, Abbot Ale, and Murray Monk. One man with the plum job of tasting all the beer at the festival is unemployed marine engineer Walter Richards. So what do you say about that one, Walter? Rather a nice, light, lunchtime drink. Uh, rather on the hoppy side, I would think. More hoppy than uh, malty, but uh, a very pleasant lunchtime drink. Peter, at a time when a lot of pubs are struggling to attract customers, you're absolutely packed here. How successful has the festival been so far? It's been very popular this year. It's a lot better than it has been in previous years. Um, we're hoping to sell out by sometime on Saturday evening. It just goes to prove that people want a different choice. They don't like being fobbed off with the same three or four beers that the local brewers will give them. Do you think that this is the main reason for the success of the festival? Yes, it is. People like to drink something different. They don't like to drink the same beer all the time. In most parts of the country, you can drink eight or nine different beers in one local town. Uh, in a big city, uh, in Hull, you can drink, say, four beers. And people like the choice, and they can't get it in Hull. Departmental stores in Scunthorpe are having a difficult time...